My name's Eric, and I'm here with Kaisawa at PAX East. Kaisawa is a virtual reality puzzle game about unlocking Chinese puzzle boxes that reveal increasingly fantastic spaces and finding extraordinary uses for ordinary things. Kaisawa is for fans of VR who are looking for more intimate puzzling experiences and for people who are puzzle gamers that have just recently acquired a virtual reality headset. So Kaisawa was made by Team Lantern. We were originally a student team out of USC. We just graduated and now we're, trying to, uh, we're out here in the big world trying to make our game real. So there were a few inspirations behind Kaisawa. One of them was we Back when we started this game, VR was still a burgeoning genre. Not much really, no one really knew what they were doing in VR. A lot of the games were shooty shooty, grabby grabby, because we hadn't figured out the, the, the finer details of handling the VR interfaces. So part of it was that. We wanted to do the next step in VR. But a big part of it was also because we love puzzle games here. We love puzzle games. We love the room, we love the witness, we love Miss, and we want to take all three of those, the best parts, the physicality and the, the realness of the room, the abstract puzzling nature and smooth learning curve of the witness, and also the exploratory nature of Mist. We want to take those three elements that we love so much and put them together into one game. And that was the original vision behind Kaiswell. The biggest one is the influence for the visual style of, Ka of Kaiswell. You know the movie Spirited Away? Well, Spirited Away is based off a, a mining town in Taiwan called Zhou Fen. And that was actually the town we got inspiration for the visual style. It's a mixture of east and west. It has that industrial feel, but also that natural feel. Because it's a mining town on the mountainside with a beautiful ocean view. All the types of beauty that is uh, available in the world, both the man-made and the natural, all mixed in one, kind of mashed together tightly and kind of messily, but still beautifully. And that's what we uh, strive to recreate in our visual design for Kaiswo. I was a computer science and games major back at USC, the University of Southern California, and I was lead designer on Kaisul. Now I'm working as a VR programmer slash designer while we're getting Kaisul off the ground. So when I started playing games, it would be literally whatever I could get my hands on. Pokemon was my very first game, Pokemon Sapphire, and then afterwards Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy, literally anything I could grasp. But as a game developer, I really started uh, thinking about games critically and as a form of art when I played Braid. The designer, creator, programmer, everything behind Braid, his name's John Blow, and he, he has a beautiful mind. A mind that understands what games can be, what they're about. He treats them like art. He writes games the way books are written, where every sentence matters towards the thesis of the book, where there's no wasted space, and it's all artistic, it's beautiful, it's thoughtful, and games are an art, and I just want everyone to see that. I want, the, I want the genre to be viewed not as just entertainment, but as something more. One of my favorite games, and one of the inspirations for this game is The Witness, because it, it's a game that makes you feel so smart, and it's so smooth at doing it. Another game I really liked was Portal. Portal's another game with a very smooth tutorial, but it's also funny as a puzzle game. Final Fantasy IX, another one of my inspirations personally when I was growing up, Final Fantasy IX, beautiful game. It was a triple-A game, but it was artistic. They would have shots where it was uh, like nighttime shots, beautiful vistas. They would have text boxes without their outlines. Beautiful game. A lot of uh, cinematography went into that game. Another inspiration for games that kind of break the mold, games being more than they are, was the Stanley Parable, the original, the Half-Life mod. Yeah, the Stanley Parable teaches you that Games literally aren't what you think. They can be so much more. They can play with your expectations. They can do things you wouldn't expect. They can do things exactly as you expect, but in a way that is just so much more fun than you ever imagined. And it just kind of broke my idea of games, which allowed me to rebuild it into something much greater, much wider, broader, more inclusive, and much more fun, full of life. This is our first game as a studio. Because we were a student team, uh, there were people that were just volunteers kind of on and off. The core, core team is around seven people, and uh, at one point our team ballooned to around 22 people. And now we've shrunk down and our company's very lean, much smaller than that 22. 
High school started as a student project, as a student capstone project. So it took a team of around, uh, we, the core team of seven, but the max team was 22 people. A, t a team of 22 students, a year of work together to make the, the demo you see here today. And now our team has shrunk down because uh, we're lightening up after college everyone's dispersed. And a, a much leaner team is going forward with the game, trying to make it into uh, a full length experience, a four to six hour experience. Kaisu was made on Unreal Engine 4. We chose it because it is pretty and we get the robustness of using C++ code and uh, being able to access all the engine level code. For our team organization, we did use Slack. On the artist side, I know we used some ZBrush, some Maya, a little bit of uh, Substance Shader. The engineers use Visual Studio, specifically with Visual Assist to speed up the process. Designers use notebooks and pens. Shout out to Moleskin. And for our audio, we have, a, uh, we have a strong focus on spatialized 3D audio to help bring the realism of the world into the game, uh, and also to amplify the effects of things that happen in-game. For that, we mixed using FMOD and WISE. So Kaisel did start out as a student game, and therefore, it was pretty hard. We didn't really know what we were doing in a new engine. We, uh, student engineers, not exactly the best code practices went on. For our designers, their first puzzle game. For our artists, his first game, actually. He used to be a CS major, and he decided to do art for our game. A lot of crazy stuff, but the most important thing we learned, you put your heart in it, you really care, and you're always open to criticism and constantly developing, your game will just improve and improve and improve, and as long as you keep pushing, your game will keep getting better. So hard. It was so hard. But just because something hard, doesn't mean it ain't worth doing. Sometimes it means it's even more worth doing. Throughout the process of making Kaisuo, uh, my team personally learned a lot of things. There's an industry saying, engine, genre, or team. You pick one of these three, you're only allowed to change one of them. We, however, chose to change all three. This is our first game in Unreal, our first VR game, and our first puzzle game, and we had a brand new team coming onto it. That is a lot of work, let me tell you. So we learned a lot about team management, team organization. We learned a lot about the development pipeline. Right now, indie games especially, runs on this development pipeline where you create a prototype, you test it, you change it, and you repeat this ad infinitum forever and ever, and you're not really sure when the game's done. This leads to development cycles where games like The Witness took seven years to make. But there is wisdom to this because the game always needs to be proving it is art. However, there are some other types of development cycles out there that might be more efficient and we've just been trying to discover what works best. Of course, every team's different, but the development process of the games industry for AAA games is kind of adopted from the movie industry where they have like a pre-production, a post-production with a split de uh, very strict deadline. Games is needs kind of a more limber feel to it. So we, along with everyone else, still trying to figure out what exactly games production should look like. So the entire reason we made Kaisel is because we believe virtual reality wasn't being uh, utilized to its full potential. We wanted to bring puzzles, which are very rare in virtual reality, into the highlight. And we also wanted to have a focus on a very strong weight, a physical realism that wasn't present in a lot of other VR games. We have a strong focus on haptic feedback with the Oculus Touch controllers. Uh, we have very small motions, very fine detailed motions like lock picking that have really large effects on the world. The vision behind Kaisel is to mature the medium of virtual reality, to help develop the grammar behind a lot of the way the games work, uh, the little stuff like how to teleport, how you should grab things, whether or not your hands are real and should hit things, but also to kind of realize what we believe the dream of games is. Games are amazing things with beautiful, beautiful potential that can suck you in more than any other genre, and we're here to help realize that, to bring that into reality, virtual reality. So this is our first time at PAX as a team for Team Lantern, and uh, it's been really great. We've been meeting people, and uh, they've been really into the game. They play the game, and they, they, they're filled with this energy of love. They see what we were trying to grasp when we made this game, and it's kind of revitalizing to see that people do enjoy these games. People do want to, uh, a more intimate VR experience. They do want the next step in VR, and uh, it's been good. It's been energizing. It's reminded us why we make games in the first place. 
Thanks for checking out Kaiswo, and thanks to Unreal, Oculus, and Indie Megaboot for making this happen. If you want to know more about the game, check out kaiswogame.com or our Twitter or our Facebook at Kaiswo Game. If you have any feedback or you want to show us some of your cool stuff, let us know. We'll see you online.